Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Let's take a look at our map real quick. Uh, let's see, that's the last place we gotta go. Okay, this is something that's admittedly a little bit confusing sometimes. Um, it doesn't actually tell you which direction you have to enter the plot door from. Uh, so it's a little bit confusing sometimes when you get to, to situations like that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and show off a feeble darkness room. I don't think we've done this one yet. So, it pretty much makes a very small room, and um, whenever we get into a battle, all of the Heartless we find in here, when they start actually attacking us, uh, you'll see that their cards are like two less than what they normally are. So, they're they're essentially easier to break, and they can't break you as often. Let's see if there's a sliding dash there. There we go, that was a good use of it. I see we stockpiled two goofy cards, let's go ahead and do this as well. By the way, I'm not sure if I've just mentioned this yet, but um... Stocking up your friend cards does power those up as well, which is pretty effective. Um, oh man, if we stocked up three Goofy cards, we could have done something really incredible, actually. Uh, he gets a brand new attack when you do that. Can't wait to show that off. By law of average, I probably will at some point. Um, let's go for health this time. Yeah, there we go. I, I gotta find, like, an algorithm or, like, something I can rely on when it, turn when it comes to using it. No, hey, I guessed right. Uh, we're gonna need a uh, value of 15 or more in order to get through this door. Alright, so let's start to actually just give up some cards real quick. Let's see, do I have a 2 of this? No, I don't. I have an 8. Oh, no, I, yeah, no, I need 11. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like Feeble Darkness for... I mean, it, I, I, mean, I like it. it it's, a, it's like an easy room to get through, but... um, There is a reason why you don't really want to use those cards if you're getting as grind-heavy as I am in a game like this. And I'll probably talk about that later. Things got a little crazy back there, but at least you're okay. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but was that true? What you said? Are you the thief? What? Of course not. Why would I steal the Queen's memory? Yeah, Sora only said that because he wanted to save. To show off. Is that right? Well, you saved me all the same. Thank you, Sora. Oh, look, it's the Cheshire Cat. Feeling better after that mad dash? You're, you're not out of the woods yet. I mean, I'm not going to use his character's talking patterns. The Queen's a stickler for justice. She won't forget you till she remembers. She won't stop pounding you till you get back her memory. Did she forget because she remembers? Does she remember that she forgot? Doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't know. I think we ought to just stay away from her. That's all, we, that's all well and good for us, Sora. But what about Alice? If the Queen catches her again, it's off with, well, you know... Now I guess we better do something about the queen. You should do something, but don't but don't have but don't do anything to anything. Wait, don't what? Huh? <laughs> it's If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. That's not true. Likewise, if something never happened, you can't remember it. Try too hard to remember and your memory might lie to you. Why? That's all I'll say. The rest is for you to figure out. All right, get the tr the key of truth. Uh, that is going to lead to the boss of this room. Now, where did this shoot us out of? Oh, put us right here. Okay, this um, occasionally uh, when the plot will shove you in a room you have not opened yet. Um, I, the most common time you'll see this is uh, when you uh, just start a world. The very first world you use, you don't actually use a card to get into, aside from just getting into the world in general. Um, so they have like these generic rooms that are kind of a medium size, and the uh, there are no really. There's nothing really going on in them. Like, enemies aren't less powerful. There aren't, like, a ton of them. Uh, now I say we start cutting out some battles. And, uh, for that we get meeting grounds. Okay, I thought that was the potion one for a second. Apparently I was wrong on that. <clears throat> by the way, worlds go by very fast in Chain of Memories, in Memories, if you know what you're doing. Um, in playing this game several times, I feel like I know that I do. I think I'll take the time to try and smash a lot of these, though, because uh, they, they do, like, um, oh, yeah, there we go. Orbs like this respawn whenever you re-enter a room. Uh, so if you want to do some grinding, that's a way to do so. So through here we have, uh, let's see, we're going to need a red card in order to get through it. Let's go ahead and use our other Feeble Darkness card. Then uh, our Key of Truth. Gosh, what's with the, with the sudden change of scenery? Let's look around. 
Oh dear. Well, you'd see the la thought you'd see the last of me, did you? Uh oh. Game's up, scoundrels. For stealing my memory, I sentence you to. I sentence you to. I sentence. Uh. What's going on? Where am I? Huh? What in the world am I doing? I found it. I can't remember. What's wrong with her? Maybe somebody swiped her memory again. Sora, watch out. Something's coming. And here we get the Trick Master. So this was what stole the Queen's memory. I don't know how you conclude that, but uh, that apparently is the case. Okay, so... Oh my... Seven? Really? This early? Okay, so... Trick Master really isn't that dangerous, actually. He has a couple attacks you should watch out for, but... Most of them just involve, like, him flailing these, like, batons around and just, like, throwing fire at you. Um, I think he has, like, a very dangerous spinning attack. Oh, oh and that ground shock move is actually kind of dangerous as well. Let's do this to get rid of the fireballs. Now, the Mickey Mouse card, if during this boss, it summons a giant table in the middle of the room, which makes it very easy to jump up to him and hit him. I think you can even hit him, like, when you're standing on the table, too. Yeah, you can. Not sure why you would do that, though. Oh, no, so you can, like, uh, can complete your combo like that. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. There we go. I don't think he's necessarily weak to that, but it did some good damage. Nice. Okay. Let's heal up, too. I think we're almost done with this deck. Yeah. Okay, let's stock up again. Uh, let's do this as well. Oh. Ah, wrong way. But at the very least, I broke his card. You're going to see me do that little trick, by the way. That trick in which I, um... I do that, basically. Like, if you look at my, at my um, little uh, number card, I brought it back up to, uh, up to one... I do that quite a bit in this game, actually. You're going to see me doing that strategy necessarily a lot. I'm going to Donald Carr. What, what rank? Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. Um, fireballs. Fireball. Oh, okay, just break that. Yeah. <laughs> let's see if Donald can... Uh, no, Donald's not going to be able to finish him off. Not have that much health left. All right, there we go. So now we're not going to be able to use for... Uh, Q yeah, Blizzara again. And another Donald card. That's good. Okay, let's refill our deck. Now let's do this while we have some time. Okay. Please use Thunder. I think it's the only thing that can actually hit him from where you are. Oh no! Oh, wait a second. Fire can actually go through the table. I did not know that. There's Trick Master. I like that fight. He can also slam the table back into the ground. I think one of his attacks, which I was relentlessly blocking or breaking, could have done that. Uh, let's see. Let's go for another CP boost. And we also got the Trick Master uh, enemy card. I remember liking that one, actually. I might use it. You there, all of you. What is the meaning of this? Where did the Heartless come from? How would we know? So you refuse to answer. You're hiding something. They're plotting against me. Seize them immediately. Please, Your Majesty, wait. It was you who commanded to, um, us to destroy the Heartless. Huh? Your Majesty, Inner Prudence didn't completely trust us at first. And so, at your majesty's command, we fought the Heartless to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? We did? I mean, we did, your uh, majesty. I told you, I told you that. Well, your majesty, you don't remember. Don't be ridiculous, I never forget anything. Of course I gave you the command. Alice, Sora, you did splendidly. Well, that was close. Way to improvise. I would have never thought of that. Yeah, you probably frame it on yourself again. <laughs> but the Cheshire Cat said as much. Try too hard to remember and your memory might lie to you. The Queen would never admit she forgot, so instead she remembered something. That didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. What is it, Sora? Hmm, it's nothing. Well, I guess you'll be safe now. And that Queen won't give us any more trouble. After all, we got rid of the Heartless, just like she commanded. Don't tell me you've been fooled, too. Alright, that's Wonderland out of the way. Again, I really like Wonderland as a world. I really want to see it more in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Ugh. Actually, no, that's a bad way to wear What I really want to see is, like, more original parts of Wonderland in Kingdom Hearts. Like, I want to... Like, in the kind of scale they've been adding to, like, Dream Drop Distance in, like, 3, I really want to see, like, a huge, um... Oh, by the way, just in case someone's watching this, like, ten years from now, <laughs> yes. 
Um, at the point of this recording, I want to say the E3 trailer for Kingdom Hearts 2 was announced like a couple weeks ago. I don't know that or like a month. I don't know. We're all eagerly awaiting it here in 2015. What is it, Goofy? It's that castle I mentioned earlier. I'm sure I didn't make it up. Again, that's Hall of Bastion. That was the castle where Sora used the Keyblade to free Kyrie's heart. They disappeared, they disappeared for a while, remember? I never forgot how worried I was. Oh yeah, when I turned to a Heartless. Wait, that happened in a castle? You forgot. Well, I remember it perfectly. What was the castle called then? Easy, it was... Hey, Jiminy, you wrote down everything that happened in your journal, right? <clears throat> Every letter. I finished off the first volume right before we got to this castle. Let's see if I can find the old book. And ah, here it is. Let's have a look. This, this is impossible. All the entries have vanished. Every page. Blank. What? How could this happen? I take such good care of my journals. All that hard work. Gone. What kind of castle is this? And so they're really going out of the way to make sure we don't remember anything from the first game. Let's help Jimmy rewrite the journal once we get out of the castle. I don't think Jiminy would erase his own journal. <laughs> Not after all the work he put into it in the first game. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that was a fun game to uh, to play through. <laughs> anyway, we have this mysterious going on white right here. We will see more of her later. Something funny is going on. How come everything Jiminy wrote vanished like that? Maybe it's not just stuff we write down. Goofy said we've been to some other castle, but I don't remember it at all. None of us remember. None of us really do. Maybe, maybe we don't remember because those memories are gone. Gone. Don't be ridiculous. Wait, remember that guy in the black with the what that guy in the black hood said? In this place, the finds to lose and the loses to find. He was talking about memories. So if we keep going, we'll lose our memories. No wonder what no wonder they call it Castle Oblivion. So the higher we go, the more we forget. What if we forget everything and can't get it back? I forget Rico and Kyrie too. Maybe we should turn back. Don't worry. We might forget where we've been or what we saw, but we won't forget our friends. What makes you so sure? Sora, when you turned to a Heartless, did you forget about us? Of course not, I'd never forget you. Well, see, there you go. No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Goofy. I guess there's nothing to be sc uh, scared of after all. So let's go. Hey, Donald, back when I was a Heartless, who was the one who clobbered me, hmm? <laughs> That's what you should be forgetting. <laughs> that was a funny scene. Like, he walked up the gall and just started hitting him with his staff. Like, stop it. <laughs> That's Sora. Alright, so now we're on the third floor. There's no way we've, we've could, we could ever forget our friends. If you're still remembering, the silly stuff, the silly stuff will be fine. I get, okay. Um... I hear construction outside. I hope you guys are don't hear too much of that. Because <laughs> it is kind of distracting as a Let's Player. And probably as a viewer. Alright, so I believe the next one we want to go to is um, is Olympus Colosseum, based off of Hercules. I've heard some people pronounce it Heracles as well. I don't know, I guess you could go either way. Look, an announcement. I'll be... Is there some sort of contest? They're calling it the Olympus Coliseum Survival Cup. Contenders can run an obstacle course, battling each other along the way. And listen to this, the great hero Hercules will also compete in the cup. It says here he's never been beaten. Sounds like fun. Why don't we enter too? I thought you'd say that. Uh, whenever there's a contest, you're raring to join up. Well, it is an RPG. <laughs> you're going to compete even if we don't, right? I think they're stuck with us. <laughs> Uh-huh. Guess we better tag along, then. Hold everyone, there's more. 
Only contenders who finish the preliminary course may enter the main competition. It says the preliminary course is just ahead. And what are we waiting for? Let's go. Whoa, 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 wait just a minute. What is this? Hercules is a model of true strength and gallantry. The perfect hero. I can't help but feel that I mispronounced that word. <laughs> oh, he's perfect, all right. Perfectly infuriating. Just thinking about that little uh, sunspot makes me boil. Gog, I'd like to send him to the underworld permanently. Which is why you hired me. That's right, you're my main. You're my man, Cloud. You're my main? What is he, a Smash Brothers character? You're my man, Cloud. Yep, we have another Final Fantasy character. Your job is to beat Hercules in the games, and once you've got him cornered, finish the job. Do that for me, and... You restore my lost memories, as we agreed. You have my word. Alright, we get the key to beginnings. Um, now I remember Olympus Coliseum. Let's let's look at the map real quick. Where do we gotta go? Uh, okay, to one of those three. Okay, well we'll make it there when we get there. By the way, this world also introduces barrels. Um, you want to be a little bit careful around them. Oh, we got a new Keyblade, the Olympia. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta check something real quick. You could have gotten a Keyblade in um, in uh, in Wonderland too. I didn't get it. Oh no, I might have to go back real quick. You know what? Wait a second. Um. I'm gonna go do that right now. Give me a second. You know, while I'm here, let's go ahead and get the Calm Bounty reward while we're here. I don't think I've explained this card yet. What Calm Bounty does is, um, it spawns a medium-sized room with a single chest in it and it usually has a yeah we get stop it usually has a card that you can only get in that world well not only get in the world but it, it adds a new card to your collection so you can now get it in other worlds so now we have stop all right so now give me a little bit while i search for that one card i'm looking for i'm um oh strike raid hurl your key plate forward stunning stunning and dealing damage to enemies in its pathway I use it by using three attack cards with a total value of 24 to 26. Alright, so that was a montage of... I'm not gonna lie, I spent roughly 20 minutes just running back and forth through uh, through a few doors and uh, try, trying to get the item I'm looking for. However, I was not able to find it. Until I remembered that uh, you can actually find them in Moogle rooms. So let's go ahead and use one real quick. I don't think I've shown this off yet. That and while grinding got a lot of money, so I think this is finally going to be a little bit viable. Oh, man, a little bit more, because every little bit counts. There we go. Just grab them all. Alright, so let's go in here. The Moogle Shop is a Moogle establishment where you can trade in cards. Exchange your cards you don't need anymore for Moogle points. Save up enough points. Oops. Um, that you can get a free pack of cards the first time you visit a Moogle Shop. Here's a card pack for you. Koopo. It's going to give us five cards. Now, please tell me it's in here. Ah, yes, there it is. That's what I was looking for. It's been like 20 minutes grinding, and now I'm just going to find it. There we go. So that's the Lady Luck. Now, let's actually look through here as well. Um, we have four different types of packs. We have the red ones, which are all attack cards. The blue ones, which are all magic cards. Um, the green ones, which are all item cards. And um, uh, these ones, which are kind of like a smorgasbord of everything. I usually try to go after these, and I usually try to buy out the shop every time I come here. I'm just going to go ahead and try to buy, buy a couple of these, because um, simply put... I want, like, more Simba and, um, and, uh, and Blizzard cards. Oh, a 9's, two 9 Simbas. That's real good. Alright, let's go ahead and undo some of these, too, because, uh, honestly, getting potions and things like that is always really nice. Alright, there we go. By the way, there's also a little bit of a construction going on outside my room right now. I just started a couple minutes ago, so if you ever hear any, like, drilling or things like that, um, that's why. It's a little bit unfortunate, but then again, I'll decide... Oh! Oh, I know what that's going to be. That's a premium card. We haven't shown, seen this yet. So, a premium card, you might notice that it's a little shiny. <clears throat> There's a reason for that. Uh, the reason why a card would be shiny is because, um... We're going to head back... Oh, uh, let's see. 
Olympus Coliseum. There we go. You can finally move on to the plot. I also got a lot of uh, cards off screen too, because um, whenever you just hit things, uh, yeah, when it, whenever you hit things, uh, yeah, you get cards like this. And I simply put, I got just about every a copy of every single card I had except for the one I was looking for. So, like I was saying, premium cards are a little bit like normal cards. Um, in the sense that you can put them in your own deck, they all have values. The thing that makes um, premium cards special, though, is that um, there are two things. First off, uh, uh, first off, they don't really cost that much to put in your deck. But at the downside of um, they always have a... Ooh, another cure, that's good. A downside that they will never be able to be... Um, or that you're, you're not able to... Um, Ooh, more blue rhapsodies. They're not, you can't um, reload them until the end of the battle. I notice a lot of people like to use them as the first card in slights because, like, honestly, that that card's gonna go away anyway. So, honestly, who cares if uh, you get rid of her or not? Eh, whatever though. There are a few new enemies in this world. We have yet to encounter them yet. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and see what Donald can do. Uh, that is Thundara. That's probably the best one he can do in big things like this. And Blizzara. That's gonna work. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Once again, I'm still looking for the blue rhapsody card. Uh, which means that we're going to want to kill as many of these as possible. Or at the very least, make sure they're the last enemy in the screen we kill. I uh, did not get it. Alright, well... Yeah, I think I'm going to stop uh, trying to... Oh, uh, trying to um, basically just... Oh, we have a new enemy. Uh, this is called a Bouncy Wild. They're pretty much just monkeys. And I want to say... Um, yeah, they have like attacks where they like use these little slingshots they have. They're a little bit annoying. I mean, they're even more annoying than the original Kingdom Hearts. But um, they're not too bad, all things considered. All right, so let's take out this big, uh, this large body. I almost called it a big body for some reason. No, I think it's, uh, big bata, bata, what's that, like, vine sauce meme? Big bapati, I think? I don't know. I'm trying to mix words here. Oh, no, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, man, I really wanted to use, like, a level two, um, that's good. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. Um, I really wanted to use a level three Donald, um, Donald summon. Uh, because that, that, those actually look pretty cool. Now, I think what I was talking about before I got extremely distracted and went on that whole, like, grinding fest is, um, you want to be a little bit careful when smashing barrels. Uh, for a reason I'll try to show off before the end of this, um, for the, before the end of this episode. Oh, man, I'm gonna go through that, that whole, like, half hour of footage now and just make sure I get all the things that are important. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up level ups, um... As well as that, like, uh, that, like, comp bounty room I got. Yeah, okay, well, you guys are gonna know if and if I do not do something like that. I really want to kill this guy first, because despite, I think, um... Yeah, I, I think the Blue Rhapsodies can be found in other worlds, but I still really want the card as soon as possible. Especially for the boss of this world. Heck, dare I say, I might go out of my way to just do some grinding off-screen. Uh, just trying to get it. Alright, so we get the Lasting Days card. Uh, let's see... Let's go ahead and boost our CP again. I might play with my deck um, in between episodes as well. Uh, let's see. What is through here? Now, that's uh, that's the second place we gotta go to. Alright, let's head up here then. We need a 7 or higher. Uh, that should not be a problem. Oh, we can use our Calm Bounty here too. Again, I want to say just about every single uh, world in the game has its own unique Calm Bounty room. Alright, so we're basically going to add either a new card or a new, um... Actually, let me check something real quick. Alright, I just wanted to make sure of something before we open this. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Ah, there we go, we got Blizzard Raid. Let's go into our menu and, and uh, see what that is real quick. Now, I remember really liking this skill, actually. I might start using it in my actual team. Oh, by the way, this is the, um... This is the list of, uh... Of, um... Uh, this is a list of slights we've unlocked so far. Uh, so you can actually just, like, hit hit the A button over one, and it'll show you its description. Really quickly inflict ice damage. We need we uh, inactive it by using a blizzard and then any two attack cards. I think I'm going to go ahead and tailor my deck so I can actually use that first turn on top of sliding dash, because I'm not going to lie, sliding dash is kind of a weak move. Yeah, so let's go ahead and, um, oh man, we might add a few of them in. Yeah, there we go, that's good. I really love blizzard, by the way. It's my favorite element in the game. Hmm, let's see what else we can add. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like Simba that much, so I think I'm gonna take him out. I was only using him because I didn't really have any other options. Let's put, um, wait a second. Devalue the enemy's card when you lose a card break. I love this skill so much. Like, it's it's so good. <laughs> and you know what? I very rarely use, uh, use stop in this game, so let's put this in as well and just see if we can experiment with it. And it looks like that's almost gonna put, it, put us at our limit already, so let's go ahead and rearrange our deck. 
Um, and then we will go ahead and, um, alright. This is that. That actually doesn't look too bad. We'll put those there, though. I always like to put uh, that at the very end. Alright, that's good. I, 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 I equipped it, right? I, you don't need to do that. I just like to do that. I love that little that little sound it makes. Alright, so looking at, um... Oh! Oh, this door. Oh, man. I haven't talked about this yet. In every single world, we have this door that's signified by a gold brick. Or maybe a gold door. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but we're not supposed to, we're not going to be getting those for a little while. Or we, we could feasibly get in the very next battle. We just got to get very lucky or exceptionally lucky. Let's go ahead and use like a zero card. I don't really feel like doing this. Let's use um, Sorcerer's Waking since we just put a bunch of new uh, uh, magic cards in our deck. Alright, so... Oh, okay. That's why you got to be careful when you smack barrels. Occasionally you'll get one of these. Um... These are barrel spiders. They have one attack, and it's very simple. They rush at you with a four card and um, and blow up in your face. I always like to, to wait for all of them to blow up except for the last one and then just destroy them because that still gives me a chance to get their enemy card. Now, the deal with the Sorcerer's Waking Room is, as you can see, um, you might remember that the card I put in beforehand was, uh, was, a, was, a, bl was a five blizzard. What Sorcerer's Waking does is it increases the, um, that was a really good Blizzard Ray, by the way, but it increases the, um, uh, the, the number on every single, uh, magic card by two. It's a little bit like Feeble Darkness, but in reverse, but exclusively for your, for your magic cards. It's kind of neat, actually. I like it a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and try using Stopra. Now, I gotta say, I don't really think I've ever used Stopra that much in this game. I just want to try it out. If I believe you cast on them, and, ah, yes, they, they get held in place for a little while. Uh, whereas you can uh, you can keep hitting them with other attacks. I probably could have used that a little bit better. Oh, we got another Moogle room. That's good. So if we get super unlucky, we can just go ahead and use that. Let's do another battle. There's still one more enemy here in this world I have not shown off. I want to get it before we end this off. There we go. It's not the large body. We've seen that before. There they are, the Power Wilds. Yeah, so these are Power Wilds. They're basically... Um, they, they are two monkeys, and... I think they only have two attacks in which they, like, jump at you, do that little dive kick, and I want to say they can also slide in at you as well. Oh, that's really convenient. I can still use Sliding Dash even after I get rid of that one card. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Wait a second, though. I just thought of something. Oh, no, no, not that. We just got, um, access to, uh, to a... What was that premium card again? It was a Blizzard. Ooh, you know what we could do then? We could remove this. And then put this back in their deck. As you can see, it only costs 15, whereas these ones cost like 19. Um, and it may only be a 1, but I'm only going to be using it in that slight anyway, so I think it's going to be worth it. Alright, that's good. Let's go through the plot door. Oh no, that, that's uh, that's the final boss. Well, not the final boss, but uh, that's the boss door of the area. Alright, alright. So this again, I really love Blizzard Ray, by the way. It's probably one of my favorite early game attacks you can get. All right, uh, so let's just start doing. You know, let's let's try this. There we go. Let's halt him. So I believe you can just attack him, and when the halt wears off, he'll then take all the damage you inflicted to him. I think it works like that in every Kingdom Hearts game too. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use Stomp on you, and then we'll try to get up like a like a double Goofy. Oh, oh, that was good. We got uh we got almost two kills on him. As as you might have been able to see there, um, so we stunned that uh that power while when we hit him with uh, with two Goofies. Oh, what the? Oh, right, right, okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, let's do this. Wait for them to go a little bit closer, or I could push you manually. Lazaga. Lazaga is an extremely powerful attack. It's probably my favorite magic spell in the game, actually. Alright, let's go for more CP, because I want to get more creative in my decks. Let's see, how close are we to the next thing? Um, I want to say it's that right there. Oh, uh, let's see. No, 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 not that, not that. All right, let's just go through here. All right, it's a one. Let's go ahead and use a Sleeping Darkness four. I want to say if you smash the barrels in here, the um, um, uh, the the barrel spiders that could potentially come about will also be sleeping, which is very, very convenient. All right, so we'll do that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The, the two monkey heartless, both of their key or both of their enemy cards are exclusive to this world. So if I, w I would like to get either one of them, 
I want to say the Bouncy Wilds are a bit more rare, though. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and kill them last if possible. Nope, didn't get it. Alright. Alright, let's take you out, too, while, while, we, uh, while we end this off. Right. Oh, uh, large body. Let's see. Let's just try this. There we go. Now let's try Goofy, followed by, um, by two Stopras. Oh, come on now. There we go. Okay, Goofy. I'm going to try to get some attacks up so we can actually utilize those Stopras. There we go. That's going to kill him. Yeah, I think one of att one attack would have killed him at that point. Alright, aim it right. There we go. Nice. Oh, another Calm Bounty. Those are always nice to have. It's pretty much just a free card. Alright, so I think I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.